Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with another lesson of drawing and that lesson is the first rule of drawing which is angle. In another video I explained that we have only three rules and that one is the first one is angles, the second one is proportions and the last one, the third rule is reviewing. So today I'm just going to explain about the first rule of drawing which is angles. Now when I'm talking about the rule of angles, it means that you have to be able to see correct angles and copy that angle. For example, imagine that in your model you have something like this. This is part of your model, it's not something that I draw, it. just imagine it. Now I want to copy the same uh, angles, same lines, same model here, okay? So the first thing that I should do is I have to start with a line. Now I'm just going to try to capture the direction of the first line. And keep it in mind, we are not copy machines. So yes, we are going to make mistakes. Our lines are not going to be 100% in parallel with the first one or in correct direction. And our angles are not going to be 100% correct. So if you're making mistakes, that that's totally fine. But try to make that mistake closer actually to reality so imagine now i'm going to draw the second line and this time instead of focusing on direction of the first, the second line i'm just focusing on this angle that i have here okay let's say is that the correct angle am i drawing it correctly look at it look at this angle here look at the space that we have between these two lines and now look at this space you can see that this one is wider this angle is wider than this one so definitely this is not correct i draw it wrong so no not to this one let's go Try another time again. I'm going to draw kind of parallel. I feel I feel my line is not that much parallel to this one. It's more parallel to this, but not the first one. So let me draw it one more time. Let me say this is not correct too. Okay. That's my line. That's better. I'm more happy with this line. Now let's try one more time. Oh, better. I like it better. So this is closer to the first angle that I draw. I know that it's not 100% correct. And uh, well, the reason is because I can see they are not 100% parallel. But it's not important. Again, I'm not copy machine. I don't want to be copy machine. So I just want it to be close. That is enough. That is the first rule of drawing. Being able to copy the angles. Being able to see the correct angles. Let me, let me be honest. Most of my students that they have problem on this step of work, they don't have problem on drawing it. They have problem on seeing the correct angle. So if you have that problem, practice more and more. But, okay, let's say our model doesn't have these sharp angles. Let's say our model is more like, let me bring this paper a little to this side. Let's say my, our model is more like this. Okay, now you can see that, okay, we have a problem here. We don't have that angles. 
how we should fix this problem right now. Now, to use the first rule of drawing, which is the rule of angles, we should be able to draw frame around our work. Let me bring this model here and I can explain it on this model. Imagine you want to draw this model. You want to draw this apple and pear and well, you can see we don't have any sharp angles. Keep your model in paper. That's one of the important things when you start drawing. Print your model and have it on paper so you can go uh, with pencil around your model and draw a frame. What is the frame? Frame is straight lines that going around your model, normally just outline of your model, and it's as close as possible to the original line, and they are the lines are on the direction of the original line. Don't worry about it. I'm going to explain it one more time. Okay, now imagine I'm going to start from here. Okay. You can see that's a straight line. And I kind of attached it to my model. Now, okay. Let me outline it with this because I want to be sure that everyone can see this frame. Now you can see we have two lines around part of the pair and I'm going to continue the same thing. Wherever that we have a curve, we can just draw a straight line look at this this is just a straight line but i broke this curved line to two separate straight line which has an angle between them you can see this angle is actually wide it's really wide that's why that maybe you see these two lines um connected to each other and they you can see it curved but in reality, let me bring it a little closer to the camera. So in reality, you can see that those are actually two separated lines with an angle between them. Now imagine you're continuing the same thing around all of your work. You can see I'm trying to stay as connected as possible to the original model and just going on the direction of the shape. When I'm talking about on the direction of the original shape, I'm talking about something like this. For example, instead of attaching it and going like this right now, imagine I go like this. It is attached to the original shape in one part, but you can see the direction of this second line that I draw is not the direction of the body of the pair it's distance it it has a distance from it so that's not going to help me that is actually going to confuse me more so this is not correct the correct one is this one the one that is attached to the shape and it's on the direction of the original shape now let's go here. You can see here I have some details. There are two ways to draw these details. Let me go with another pencil. You can either go like this. Break it to small details. Okay, 
that's one way or for now you can forget about these details and just draw one line second third and continue okay so for one model each person can draw different uh, different frames but all of those frames could be correct you can have different frames but with different details like some of them it's two details some of them are can be very very outlineish or it has only outline of the shape they they are all correct now when you did this you can come back to your paper and now you can start drawing just try to copy lines okay that's too high no that's not correct this one is better this angle is correct And can you remember the first session of the drawing lessons? I told you, you can make mistake as much as you like. Make mistake, erase it, and do it again. So you can see I'm continuing uh, drawing this part of the pair. I know that I made some mistakes, but the mistakes are not about the angles. The angles are actually correct again not 100 percent correct but those angles are correct and i'm not going to change it right now the thing that it's not correct is the next uh, lesson of the drawing in next video i'm going to talk about it but imagine you draw this and now you can go with the details and add details like this and then you have your shape okay so this is the first rule of drawing and again the most important things that i want you to practice and practice and practice is actually framing the models that is really important before you start drawing like this first be sure that you have a correct uh, framing technique so print some pictures it doesn't matter what is the picture frame some some pictures and start just framing it okay like this you can see when the picture when the when the model is a little more complicated well, definitely you need more details. It's better to draw these outlines, these frames only with pencil. So later you can erase them and see the correct shape and correct curves to bring the details. But right now I want to be sure that everyone can see what I'm doing. So I'm just doing it with pen. Please feel free to send any question that you have through comment for me. I will answer your questions as soon as possible okay i'm not going to continue this i just want you to see what is happening okay can you see this part and rest of it now i have to finish framing all of this horse and then i can start copying 
angle by angle, one by one. Please don't rush it. This step of work normally takes maybe even hour. It depends on your model. So again, just let me show you one more part. You can see for this, I'm drawing one line. I don't need to break it to smaller one. Avoid details. Right now, it's better to just work around the shape, an outline of the shape, and avoid details. Okay, that's it. Again, I'm not going to finish it. This is not correct. This one, the angle is, didn't come correctly. Okay, this one is better. So now again, you can see this is what we need. Frame of uh, model. After that, you can start copying your model. Actually, just, just those straight lines. Do not jump to details in this step of work. Again, don't forget, that's not just about drawing. It's not about the performance. If you are able to draw or not, it's about seeing your model correctly. So these lines are helping your eye to see better. So again, do the framing. Don't forget, the frames are as important as your drawing. In this step of work, every time that I check my students' uh, homework, I first check their model to see if they draw the outline or not. And then I go to check that, see if they draw it correctly and the angles are correct. So this is your homework. Print some pictures start with the frame if you're happy with the frame if the frame came out good now you can start copying the angles and let me just tell you because you don't know the second rule of drawing yet probably your drawing is not coming correctly but after the second rule we are going to fix the problem Okay, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and if you have any suggestion or question leave it on comment for me.